sound of explosions has always been a great passion for me. And so when it came to battle scenes or the destruction of the Death Star or anything of that sort, I always got into it quite seriously <laughs> and uh, spent a lot of time recording explosions and weapons and trying to figure out ways to record them to get the maximum visceral effect out of the event. Um, real explosions are very difficult to record because they're so loud and quite often they're so sudden uh, and short in duration of sound that a normal recording system doesn't get something that's very interesting. It gets a big clap or a big pop or something of that sort. You can listen to explosions often on the, uh, on the news, things recorded in actual warfare. Sometimes it doesn't seem to have quite the, the body and the tone range that you are used to hearing in motion pictures. Um, I went out and did a lot of recording of explosions. Uh, I went to White Sands Missile Range to record missiles and rockets taking off and impacting and air-to-air -air interceptions. I went to many military bases and recorded uh, tanks shooting and artillery. Uh, I, had, I got myself in a situation once where I was being bombarded by howitzers from about five miles away, and I was in a trench, and they were sh dropping shells 500 feet out in front of me where my microphones were. Blew up one pair of microphones, cut cables, put some more out, uh, duct shrapnel, but got some great recordings, and I've repeated that experience over and over again over the years, uh, always in a quest which I call the search for the ultimate explosion. And uh, I've gone a great distance in this, but I don't know if I've gotten it yet. 